there. It's Sunday, day one of the weekly vlog. I wanted to show you my OOTD, which is actually kind of hard to show in this mirror. So this is like a super fuzzy top that I got from Athleta maybe two years ago. And I'm wearing Uniqlo long underwear underneath, wearing some Athleta leggings with the pockets and my golden goose sneaks. I'm gonna head to Costco and Aldi and Whole Foods and pick up all the things and then I'm gonna finally unpack because you can see my luggage right there. I feel like I'm packing. Like who isn't at Target right now? Not Target, Costco. Because this parking lot is gigantic and it's packed. And I'm waiting for this man to get out of his car. It's been taking a minute. Come on. Like, I don't understand. Oh, there's one. Just trying out a raincoat. So not only did I find a pink raincoat, I also found some black pants that I'm gonna try for work. They look cute. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what they look like on once I try them on. So I went to Costco, fought all the people. Then I went to Aldi which didn't have everything I needed. So then there's a Trader Joe's upstairs. That place was insane. I just kind of like flew through there. And then I was gonna go to Whole Foods, but I'm like, I'm done. Like that's enough stores. And now I'm too tired to cook dinners. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna have. We'll see. <laughs> so this is my raincoat that I got from Costco. It's like a salmon pink color. It was $19.99 and I actually think it's really cute. I needed a raincoat. I had one from Athleta and it was not actually waterproof. This says it's weatherproof. So we'll see. I'm not gonna wear it anytime in the near future, but I thought we'd get it while I saw it there. So here are the pants. They're kind of low-waisted. They're way too long on me and they're a little too baggy, but it was worth a shot. Had to try. So this is the Club Monaco coat, the one I have in pink but I got it in gray because it was on crazy sale and I wanted another color because it's so warm. It's the De Luna. I'll put a link to it below, but I clearly need to steam it because it's a little wrinkled from being in the packaging. Good morning, happy Monday. I am about to head into the gym. I'm gonna be doing a yoga workout on the Peloton digital app. We just see that there's someone in there. So I thought I might not like, talk to myself. Um, I haven't done one of their yoga classes in a long time, so I am looking forward to it. It's kind of exactly what I need right now. So I'm gonna get to it and talk to you soon. Here's my OOTD. You have seen this before and I think you're starting to realize that I pretty much just wear the same thing every day. So I have my white Dudley Stevens on with that black Johnny V uh, tee underneath gray jeans over the knee boots and today I have some Goriana star earrings on and also rings by Goriana too. I didn't paint my nails last night so that's not happening. Um, I'm also going to wear my new Club Monaco coat today so I'll take a quick quick video of that on me. Here is the gray Club Monaco coat, the one that I also have in pink. I am convinced, however, that this is a lighter material, which is fine. It's just, it does feel different than my pink one. It's very cute. It's on crazy sale if you're interested, and it comes in a couple other colors too. I don't know if I've shared this with you, but people like to stop and ask me for directions all the time. Whether I'm in Chicago or London or anywhere. So a man just stopped me. I think, I think it was from like, I don't know where. He's like, excuse me, can you tell me where shopping is? I was like, well, you found the right person, sir. And I was asking what he's looking for. He didn't know of any of our stores in America. So I he wanted to get shirts and pants and whatever. So I directed him to Macy's out of all the people in Chicago to stop. And out of all the places I know where to get to. It's so usually, I don't think I provide the best directions this time. I knew exactly where he should go. Oh, 
Also, it's a little colder than I thought before I started walking home. So I'm gonna go and put on my 180s and gloves and hopefully this will be a decent walk. Good morning. I am obviously at the gym with some very bright leggings on from Athleta from this past summer. An Athleta hoodie and then this Athleta like kind of muscle tank type thing, I'm cold. I'm gonna do a Peloton workout. Uh, I'm gonna do a leg one and then maybe an arms. Well, my arms are sore from yoga yesterday. So we'll see about that, but I'm gonna get started. So today's OOTD is in the bathroom, and that sign is there because it reeks apparently. So I am wearing the Amazon top that I've shown you before. Let me like actually make it fit right. I've worn it with leggings, now I'm wearing it with jeans and some ankle booties. I'll put a link to this Amazon top, um, and these are the ragamuffin boots, ragamuffin jeans, which I really need to get some new jeans, so please tell me your favorite brands. And then I have these earrings that my boyfriend's mom got me for Christmas. I don't think I brought this up before, but I have this problem where my jeans rip in the crotch. I love rag and bone jeans. You've probably noticed by my posts and by every single OOTD, I live in rag and bone jeans. They just fit me the best. The thing is, is I have now today ripped in the crotch the fourth pair of jeans. Is it fifth? Maybe it's my fifth pair. Now I thought, well, also, whoa, this hair. I thought maybe, maybe it's because I wear them so much, but like, is this normal? Like also I had saved two of the pairs. I'm still wearing the other pair. It's a pretty large hole. And I'm thinking I might be able to sew. Also, like, I don't know how to sew. I mean, like I get the concept, but I think it's time for me to sew. Oh my God, these ones are really bad. So these ones have holes. It's like on this side and that side. Are these, these are done for, aren't they? Like what happens? Like why, why does this happen? I don't know if I can fix these. That's a lot. This is a lot more than I remembered. Okay, let's check this other pair. This was my favorite pair of black jeans. Both sides here. I think it was both. It's like I wait until both sides rip. So this is both. Again. I guess I could sew this. I'm gonna look at some YouTube tutorials, but help me out. Am I the only one this happens to? And, or is it ragamone jeans? Which would make me really sad, but I think I now have four concrete examples of it being ragamone jeans. These I think are done. Um, so here's what I need. I need a stretchy mid to high waisted jean with a very skinny ankle. If it doesn't have a very skinny ankle, I can get that tailored. And like it needs to be stretchy in the waistband because I, I bought some Madewell jeans, they're cute and all, but like the waistband's not stretchy. Help me out. What jeans should I be purchasing? Because I need them. And preferably if they're gonna rip in the crotch, I'd rather not spend as much money as I do on ragamone jeans. Thanks in advance for your help. I think tonight I'm going to, it's Tuesday, it could be like Taco Tuesday. I don't know if my boyfriend's in the mood for tacos. So I might make that just like a really simple recipe. I use what's gotta be seasoning, which I guess I could show you. Let me get it. I haven't started making um, the tacos yet. See all my friends LeBron and Tiger and... So what's gotta be cooking? If you don't follow her, follow her. She's incredible. So she came out with a line of seasonings and I have a lot of them. So I have her taco fita, senorita, and I personally love it. It's great, it's awesome. There's a little bit of red pepper in there. My boyfriend doesn't like the heat. So I only put like a little bit of this in, but she has uh, all things meat. And this one is actually really, really good for tacos and meat and pork and steaks and everything, it's so good. It has a little bit of cumin in there, I wanna say, no. Whatever it has, it has that taco 
flavor sort of, and it works really well. So I just put like a couple tablespoons of this and it turns out really well. And then I just do like lettuce, tomato and cheese. Keep it pretty simple. And oh, let me show you the tortillas. I should probably take these out anyway. Okay, this is, this is more difficult with one arm. Also ignore the fact that we have like random things in our freezer. Okay, I'll show you the packaging. Cause like it comes, okay, so these are from Costco. These are organic flour uncooked tortillas. And they come in two, there's like two things in here. They're awesome, I put some in there. So what you do is you just, I let them defrost a little bit on the countertop and then cook them on um, a nonstick skillet. And it's like these fluffy, airy, airy, like homemade tortillas and they're pretty much the greatest thing ever. And they're so good. The ingredients are like pretty clean. So they're again, orga uh, blah, can't really talk. Ingredients, organic wheat flour, filtered water, organic canola oil, salt, organic sugar. Pretty simple. And I know I should have expeller pressed canola oil, but I'm gonna go with organics good enough. So that's that. So I think I'm gonna make those and I'm already hungry. So I think I made a snack. Also, I didn't order anything or I didn't get anything delivered. So I have nothing to show you. I did paint my nails last night. I was too tired to record it. Uh, I did Alpine Snow, which is pretty much white from OPI. And I actually really am loving the look of it. I said I was gonna have a snack. So I'm eating this Port Salute cheese, but I have this cheese board. It's, my mom got this for me. What this does is it actually like, first of all, it's super cute and it like slices soft cheese. So I'm gonna show you with the port salute, which by the way, essentially just tastes like a, like I don't, when I say this, I don't mean strong, but you know how mozzarella is kind of like a mild flavor. It's like a stronger mozzarella. That's my, you're probably gonna think of something different. That's what I think it tastes like. Very hard to open. I could probably eat this whole thing. So this is one arm. So just give me a break here. All right, so I'm gonna put the cheese kind of where that line is. I mean, you know how a cheese slicer works. And it's gonna cut it. Just perfect. Ready to eat. Pretty cool, isn't it? I am just gonna sit here and slice myself some cheese. And then maybe make some dinner. I don't even think I need the crackers, but I'm gonna eat them because I can. I'll link this below, by the way, because I believe my mom got it on Amazon. All right, while I'm making tacos, I want to show you something. So I have an old candle that I burned all the way through, but I really like the glass on it. It's this nest one. It's the holiday. It still smells so good, but you can't burn it anymore, but I want to use this. So when my boyfriend saw me doing this with another candle, he's like, why don't you show your followers like how you do this? I'm like, okay, I think everyone knows about this. Hold on, I've got to check on the tacos. It's pretty simple. I boiled some water on my electric tea kettle, which is right, my place is a mess. And, okay. and then what I do is I'll just show you. I pour the boiling water in. So I just pour this in. I pour it close to the top. And then you wait for what seems like forever for it to cool. And what will happen is, is the wax will float to the top of the candle and then, or to the top of the glass. And then what you do is fill it again, you take out the wax and then you fill it again with hot water until, or boiling water until you get all of it out. And then you have a shiny glass and it's really awesome. Heads up. Don't do it with something that's not glass. It'll crack on you. I am speaking from personal experience. By the way, while it's sitting there, it just, I can smell the holiday scent. It smells so good. Um, yeah, all right, so I will try and remember to show you kind of like each round of this. So, because it's, it's really cool. I think I'm gonna bring this to work and put like my pens and stuff in there because it's really cute. All right, I'm gonna show you the tortillas that I was talking about earlier. So you just take this skillet and just let it cook. Okay. 
Okay, candle update. So this has cooled. You can see it literally just pops off, but there's more down there. So we need to put more hot water. So we'll empty this out and then wait for it to cool. And then tomorrow I will pull this out. Actually, I was able to just use a paper towel and scoop that out. So there we go. We have a very clean glass and it's really pretty. It still smells good and it's ready to be used for something else. It's Wednesday. I am going to do a treadmill workout on the Pel not on the Peloton, but the Peloton app. And it's a half hour pop fun run with Robin. Very excited about it. I'm wearing some very old blue lemon leggings that I'm realizing don't look as good here. Um, obviously this Athleta top and then this Athleta tank. It's a little chilly in here, so. I'm off to work out, and it looks like my tan is a little bit here. Probably put some self tanner drops on two nights. OTD, this is my new Amazon sweater. This green, I'm trying to figure out the collar here. Uh, it is really cozy and comfy. It's longer in the back, so I could have probably worn leggings with that. Wearing my black Madewell jeans, my ragamon boots, and my Target heart earrings. I will link this top below because it's super cozy and it comes in a ton of colors. I wanted to add a little more color to my wardrobe, so I went with green. Okay, I just had to show you how cute this gray jacket is with like everything that I wear. This is the Club Monaco one. I need to button this up, but look how cute it is. I mean, I know I have it in pink, but I'm loving the gray. So I'm home from work and I need to do some voiceover work for my next video that's coming out, which is going to be like a hair how-to, not this how-to, because you probably don't want to know how to do this, but for how I do my beach waves and I need to do voiceover and there's too much going on. So I do have a mic that I forgot that I had and I need to go in my closet because it's where I get the best sound. So here's the thing. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's not coming home yet, but if he does and he can't find me and then I'm like in the closet, like with a computer, like that's going to look weird, but uh, it's the risk I'm willing to take. I'll just get made fun of for like ever about it. This is what I need to do. And I don't know why I just felt like I need to share it with you. Sometimes just how you have to get some videos done. Just to prove to you that I wasn't joking. Just sitting on my floor. Oh, you can tell this is my side of the closet. And obviously his is much more organized. I uh, didn't know you were getting a closet tour, did you? Also, it's not that big in here, like, but I, it's exactly what I need. So, okay, I'll stop now. OOTD, because it's really cold out today, is a cashmere sweater. This one is from Everlane. I got it years ago, but I feel like they probably still make it, so I will link it below. Gray ragamone jeans, Stuart White's and over the knee boots, and my Goriana earrings. So I am going to be wearing, you can see my pink coat in the background, because it's the warmest coat that I own. And I'm gonna wear a hat, which will probably mess up my hair, but I wanna be warm. It's one of those days where to breathe. Oh, thank God my train's here. It's a really, really cold up. Good morning, happy Friday. It is not as early as I wanted it to be, but I am gonna work out. I don't see anyone in there, but um, what I'm gonna do is probably just walk on the treadmill and then if I feel like it, do a 20 minute leg workout. Um, it is really, really cold out. Like. It's gonna be freezing cold today, like below freezing cold. So I know I'm not gonna move much, so I wanna make sure to at least walk on the treadmill for a bit. And uh, I didn't move much yesterday. So, um, by the way, this is old. It's Abercrombie, it's from last year. It's cropped, I'll try and show you in there. Why is this open? It's actually really cute. And this is Athleta, Athleta, you know. So I'm gonna go with it. My OOTD is another warm one. So of course I'm wearing a Dudley Stevens top and 
by Johnny V. T underneath because it's longer. And then I have these old Athleta like corduroy, you can kind of tell, corduroy leggings. And what's cool is that they have like pockets in the back and then my over the knee boots, which I'm hoping are gonna be fine in the snow because the snow is starting according to Google in like at three o'clock. So hopefully these boots will be fine. And then I have my Goriana earrings by, by Goriana. I believe the name of them is Chloe. And today I did a Charlotte Tilbury palette. So it is called The Golden Goddess. I've had this for a while, you'll be able to tell. So I did this on my eyes, which can you even tell? I think a little bit. I really like it. Spent a little bit extra time on my eyes this morning, mostly because just felt like it. So I am going to head to work, brace for the cold, and wish me luck. <laughs> So I've been really good about packages this week. I haven't, I've only received one, which I just got, and it's my Sephora Play box. Um, but other than that, I think I did pretty well this week. I did just order Madewell jeans today, because you know my jeans issue with ripping holes in the crotch of all my jeans. But um, I wanted to show you my Sephora Play box. But also, like, it's really snowing out. It's... I don't think it's gonna be too much, but for right now, it's quite a bit. Let me see which angle's the best here. You can kind of see, it's like I live in a snow globe right now and there's just snow everywhere, which is fine because I fully plan on ordering some pizza and probably editing this vlog. Okay, let's get back to the play box. So I have not looked yet. So these are all my kind of like first there we go. First reactions. All right. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I mean, who hasn't used this? Smooth and blur. I mean, I, I like forgot that they made this. Maybe they're making a comeback. I will give it a shot. By the way, the amount of primers that I get from the Sephora Play Box, like I will never need to buy primer again. It's just a little over the top. This is a great one. Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. Smooths, brightens, and deep puffs. How about we like just try this right now? How instant do we think it is? Probably. You think it'll be instant? What if this stuff really works? I need to tell my sister-in-law about it. She asked me about stuff like this. Oh, it feels cool. Ooh. It really does. Are these going away? Probably not. This is very cooling. It's getting more intense. It's an interesting package. Okay, so far so good. Philosophy, is this like a throwback? Like, it doesn't say it's a throwback, but I'm telling you based off all these products, this is a throwback Sephora Play Box. Amazing Grace, if you've never smelled it, it smells so nice. My mom, uh, used to get me, or I guess I feel like got a lot of products with this scent. This is very clean, very, I'm probably gonna spill it everywhere. Hold on, be careful. It's just, it's a classic. When you smell it, you know you smell it. Like you know what it is. It's really light and not too fruity, not too florally, it's really good. And back to the Sephora throwback box. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I think this is the mask. Yep, yeah, I've used this. This is a great mask. It's been around for, I think, a while, unless they like revamped it or something. Is this working? It's the cooling is like not, it's fine now. How many times can Lancome send the, like I'll never have to buy this. This is their um, lash primer. Yeah, their Booster XL Enhancing Mascara Base. You put this on and then you put your mascara on. This is actually white. I don't want to take it out because I don't want it to dry out. And it's really good. I've just never had to buy it because, or did I buy it once? I think I bought it once. I have so many samples of it. Another thing I have samples of, or I have the real thing, this is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. This one's in black. I have this, I don't have the little one. This is a great product. I feel like this whole Sephora Play Box, it's called Stress-Free Beauty. But like, they're just like classics and they're great. This is, a really good box. I really like it. 
And I feel like I got to try one new product because I've used all of these. Maybe it's just me. Um, but I'm very excited to try to continue to try this. I can feel it like here. Do you think if we do a second, this packaging, look at the top, it's interesting. Let's do this again. Should we say hi to LeBron? Cause he's right there looking at you. Also I'm burning a candle and it's going a little crazy. By the way, this is the greatest candle. It's the Diptyque New York candle. There's nothing that smells like this in the world that I've smelled, probably not in the world, just that I've smelled. If anyone knows, if you know of a, like another, they don't make a spray in it. This is a limited edition. It was only available in New York and then they like made it available uh, online. So I bought a second one because I burned through the first one. If you are aware of any scent that smells like this, it doesn't have to be exact, but very close, please text me and tell me what it is. Perfume, lotion, body wash, body cream, room spray, other candles, anything that has the same fragrance as this, please text me and let me know because this is my absolute favorite. Okay, I'm gonna start, stop holding the flame and actually go chill. All right, my OOTD is very simple because we're just running errands. I'm wearing this Lululemon scarf the vinyasa scarf, an athletic sweatshirt, some Zell leggings, and my favorite Sorel boots. I'm gonna put a big coat on and just run some errands. All right, here's the completed OOTD. It looks way cuter with the coat on. This is my Burberry coat, which you can see the print somewhere. Oh, there, has a hood, um, which always unzips here. Um, so my boyfriend said that, so I always tie this because it takes too long to do this part. And he said that when I'm around him, now I have to not tie it, which whatever, I'll do what I want to, but it does look cute this way. So I'll wear it like this today. So my favorite pajamas are Target and they're by a brand called Stars Above. These are really cute. They're really soft. Um, you have to feel them because not all of them are soft and it's hard to tell online. I'll hold the prime orders. This is insane. It's so funny. Excuse me. Like, So I've decided to make the Gabi cookies, chocolate chip cookies. If you didn't see my vlog from like Vlogmas, I made these like twice during the month of December and I'm already wanting them again. Plus for Christmas, my parents got me a KitchenAid mixer. So this is gonna be so much easier and I can't wait. And the thing about these cookies is, is I'm gonna make them tonight, which is Saturday, wild and crazy Saturday night. And then I will bake them on Tuesday. So that's how this works here. And they will be amazing and I can't wait. And I might bake a couple today. They won't taste as good, but I'll at least get a, like a couple cookies. It has been a great vlogging week. Thank you so much for watching. I just shot, which is why like I have like nicer makeup on than I did before, a ton of videos. I shot two for beauty and fashion, actually just both fashion. And then I shot two public speaking videos. So yeah, four, which is awesome because I am never ahead of the game like that. So look for my next public speaking video coming out on Tuesday. Um, stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome week, day, night, whenever you're watching this.